important to note when adjusting the control box pressure, ensure that the air supply to the trailer is a minimum of 20 PSI above your target pressure. Now let's get started. Begin by shutting off the system. To do this, move the on-off ball valve to the closed position. Next, open the system drain petcock to release any pressure that may be still in the system. Now remove the supply line from the quick connect on the outlet port of the control box. and attach your test gauge to the outlet port of the control box. After the test gauge has been attached, go ahead and close the petcock valve. Now turn the on-off valve back to the on position, charging the system. Also make sure that the ball valve on the test gauge is closed. Now check to see what the test gauge is reading. It should read 3 PSI over your cold tire pressure spec. One example of this is if you're running 100 pounds cold, then your gauge should read 103. If the gauge does not read 3 PSI over your cold tire pressure spec, it's time to adjust. The first step of the adjustment is opening the control box. Now unlock the regulator knob by pulling outwards until you feel a slight click. After the click, turn the regulator knob counterclockwise until the pressure on the gauge reads below 60 PSI. Once the gauge reads below 60 PSI, Go ahead and increase the pressure by turning the regulator knob clockwise until the gauge reads 3 PSI above your desired cold tire pressure setting. A couple of notes at this stage. During the adjustment process, the gauge needle should react simultaneously to the regulator knob movement. And if you were to go beyond the desired target pressure, you must start over. The pressure must be returned to below 60 PSI, then increase slowly until the desired target pressure has been reached. If done correctly, your gauge should now read 3 PSI above your cold tire pressure spec. After any adjustments, a function check of the regulator should be performed. To start the function check, start by closing the on-off valve on the supply side of the control box. And open and close the ball valve on the test gauge to relieve any pressure in the system. Now open the on-off valve on the supply side of the control box and charge the system. The test gauge should now read 3 PSI over your desired tire cold pressure setting again. After verifying that the pressure on the gauge does read 3 PSI above your cold tire pressure spec, cycle the valve on the gauge at least two times. And if the pressure on the gauge is still showing 3 PSI above your cold tire pressure spec, the function check is complete and you're finished resetting the regulator. Now let's put the system back together and into operation. Turn the system back off. Open the bleed valve on the test gauge. Disconnect the test gauge from the quick connect. And reconnect the supply line to the axles. Lock the regulator knob by pushing down on it. Close the lid and tighten the screws. Turn the system back on at the on-off valve on the supply side of the control box and check for leaks. After completing these steps, you are now finished resetting the control box.